हेलो एवरीवन नाउ वी विल स्टडी पार्ट टू ऑफ चैप्टर फोर मैप्स इन दिस पार्ट वी विल सी सिंबल्स द थर्ड कंपोनेंट ऑफ मैप एंड स्केच एंड प्लान अनदर कंपोनेंट ऑफ मैप्स आर कॉल्ड सिंबल्स एज इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू शो ऑल द फीचर्स ऑफ द अर्थ in their same shape on the map so we use symbols a uh, different shapes of drawing represent the different features called symbols symbols are called language of the map so there are, is an international agreement regarding the use of some symbols some symbols have been fixed accepted by the countries all over the world so these symbols which have been accepted by the countries all over the world these symbols are called conventional symbols in next figure we will see some of the important conventional symbols see railway lines railway lines are shown in this way this is this type of railway line shows broad gauge distance between two rails is wider then called meter gauge meter gauge distance gap between two line is narrower in this here broad gauge railway line with station station is marked in this railway station this drawing with railway line is represent station railway station now roads there are different types of roads shown by using different symbols if continuous two parallel lines are drawn on map means it shows metal road pakka road while broken two pro parallel broken line shows unmetal road or kachcha road boundaries boundaries between countries states villages are shown differently boundaries between countries are shown by using dark broken line dot between them while between states it is light and district boundaries are shown only with broken line no dot is found between them river wells it is tank or ponds canals bridges these are the symbols used for explaining about these features now temple church mosque chatri are shown by using these symbols some symbols are used on map by using letters p o p o for post office p t o post and telegraph office ps for police station see this type of feature shows settlement rural settlement urban settlement means village area rural areas where people build houses to live this is called settlements this type of symbols are used on map to show graveyard different shapes of trees as different types of forest are found in grasses so these are some of the conventional symbols used on map to read it to understand it besides symbols various colors are also used for the same purpose to show the features for example blue color is used to show all the water bodies 
brown color is used to show mountains yellow color is used to show plateau while green is used for plains see different shades of these color represent the height and depth if dark blue means water is very deep in that area light blue means water is shallow brown color dark brown means mountain is very high or if mountain is snow capped so in that area it is shown by using white color in same way different shades of yellow is also in tell about the height undulating height of plateaus see this map yeah. post and telegraph office railway line broad gauge railway line with railway station this meter gauge railway line which connect the small cities villages rural areas or these broad gauge connect the metropolitan cities in plains labeled area or it is in plateau or hilly areas these are settlement area here it is chatri mosque you can easily find out here it is tanks here it is sundarpur school temple river flows so this is the map of sundarpur village and its surrounding area sundarpur village and its surrounding areas map sketch and plan all these three are drawing of the earth surface on a flat paper flat sheet of paper but what the difference between them try to understand it very carefully map is short the map is a drawing of the earth or part of it on a flat surface by using a scale and three components of maps are scale which represent distance direction and symbols ab see what are the components of sketch a sketch is a drawing mainly based on memory and spot observation and not to scale means drawing of any area feature is on flat surface is a sketch if it is drawn without using scale sometime a rough drawing is required of an area to tell where a particular place is located with respect to other place suppose someone ask you where is your school from your house so from your house you draw a rough sketch ki if we move from uh, our house to right hand side then a uh, road crosses from left and right but we turn to left and then we again turn to our left and then reach to school so you draw this scale, uh, drawing without using a scale it is sketch means in sketch we don't use scale so such a rough drawing is drawn without using a scale are called a sketch map and a plan a plan is a drawing of a small area on a large scale a large scale map gives a lot of information but there are certain things which we may sometimes want to know for example the length and breadth of a room which can't be shown in a map at time <coughs> we can refer drawing drawn to a scale called plan means large scale map large scale map sometime does not explain 
डिटेल्ड इंफॉर्मेशन तो इट इज द एक्स प्लान इज अ ड्रॉइंग विच एक्सप्लेन द डिटेल्ड इन मोर डिटेल्ड इंफॉर्मेशन सपोज स्कूल बिल्डिंग तो वे आर वुड बी प्रिंसिपल चैम्बर वट वुड बी द साइज ऑफ रूम वट वुड बी द साइज ऑफ क्लास रूम्स तो दिस इज ड्रॉन बाई यूजिंग प्लान तो इट इज अ काइंड ऑफ लार्ज स्केल मैप प्लान इज ड्रॉन बाय यूजिंग ए स्केल look at the figure 4.4 and answer the following questions question number 1 in which direction is the river flowing the river is flowing from north east to south west north east to south west direction what kind of road passes by the side of village dumri see here is village dumri and the road which is passing here it is metal road on what type of railway line is sundarpur situated sundarpur hmm? or this symbol of railway line represent broad gauge broad gauge railway line on which side of railway bridge is police station situated police station where is police station here so it lies to the south south of railway line police station lies to the south of railway line or railway bridge ha so it is to the south east on which side of railway line do following lie chatri chatri to the south church to the south pond to the north mosque to the north river to the south post and telegraph office here is post and telegraph office to the south graveyard graveyard is also to the south of railway line so chapter is over that's all thank you